Hey there, this is Ranjit and I have this HTC Desire 816 with me and in this video we'll be doing the camera review for this Desire 816. The rear facing camera is a 13 megapixel shooter with LED flash and it can record video up to 1080p and the front facing camera is actually a 5 megapixel shooter and this can also record video up to 1080p. I did some of my uh, testing for the front facing camera with Skype video calls and the call quality were pretty good. I've actually shot a lot of pictures and even videos with this device and I'll show you all those samples a bit later. Before that let me show you the camera interface and uh, uh, this runs on the HTC Sense 6 UI as you can see uh, this is the front facing camera you can just flick like this and switch to the rear facing camera and uh, the interface is pretty uh, yeah, simple this is the simple menu you get camera video or for selfies we uh, look at the camera and it's actually very easy let me just bring an object you just tap into an object it focuses pretty quickly and just click and it takes the snap and you can control the flash set it to auto or fire it always and i've noticed the uh, pictures it's not very aggressive in terms of flash even indoors many times as you can see this is an indoor lighting uh, it took the picture and it came out very good and this is without the flash so actually it does a pretty good job e even indoors uh, without uh, using the flash but you have further settings also for example as you can see we have the auto settings uh, we have uh, scene modes over here you can change the iso you can adjust the auto white balance if you would like uh, in the video you just click here and just tap in and you can take the video while taking the video you can take some uh, still shot for example let me show you like this and we do get tap to focus so you can tap within a video and it will quickly focus and if you hit this it can also take a picture within the video so let me get out of this one and actually uh, it's pretty fast i would say in terms of uh, the camera you just tap in and it quickly takes the snap another good feature is that we have zoe's with this and uh, uh, another thing is that if you just go to the gallery the default gallery app on this device uh, it creates a small mini uh, uh, video by itself called zoe's for example uh, it has created this one for today and let me show you so this is pretty nice you don't have to do anything it does this automatically as you can see let me zoom in so what are pictures you have taken throughout the day it just creates a mini uh, video out of it automatically so this is a nice feature it is done automatically and as you can see it's created by Zoe you can do your remix you can upload this or whatever you like if you would like now let me actually show you all the pictures that I've taken with this uh, Desire 816 these pictures were shot with the Desire 816 as you can see pictures come out to be good but sometimes in autofocusing the exposure is out of place but the pictures come out to be really good uh, as you can see outdoors the pictures are very sharp and they do have a lot of detail also if the pictures are not in direct sunlight, the color accuracy is actually pretty good, I would say. And the pictures have a lot of detail. I'm recording this video with the HTC Desire 816 at the highest resolution, that's uh, 1080p. And the audio that you're hearing is also being recorded by the internal microphone of this Desire 816. By default, the resolution will be set to 720, uh, but you can go to the settings and change it to 1080p. And this is my roof garden. And I'll just pan around a little bit slowly. The sun has come up, but let me move to a shadowed area. This is a shadowed area, and this is a sunny area. This is also a little bit of wind. And now let me just uh, walk back. I'm walking normally. So this should give you an idea about the video recording capabilities of this Desire 816 outdoors on a sunny day. 
Now these pitches were shot in semi-indoor conditions and here I would say the HTC Desire 816 surprised me because even in this difficult lighting conditions the pictures came out to be really good and the flash I kept it to auto it did not fire. So even in mixed lighting uh, conditions uh, the Desire 816 uh, performed pretty well. But I do feel that the exposure is a little bit aggressive in the auto uh, mode. Selfie with the front facing camera. I'm recording this video with the front facing camera of the HTC Desire 816 and the front facing camera that is for selfies or video chats like this is a 5 megapixel shooter. So this should give you an idea how the video recording is if you are doing uh, what do you say video chats like Skype etc indoors in completely artificial light via the front facing camera. Now these pictures were shot in my office and this is in completely artificial light using the rear facing camera and as you can see even without the flash, this is with the flash, uh, but even without the flash the pictures came out to be really good and they had a lot of details in the picture. Yes, some pictures were a little bit of noisy but compared to other cameras, I would say uh, in artificial light this Desire 816 did very good. These are some macro shots that I shot with the HTC Desire 816. Now I'm recording this video with the Desire 816 indoors and this is in completely artificial light in my office. Uh, so this should give you an idea how it records uh, uh, in artificial light. Uh, we do have tap to focus so you can just quickly tap to an area and it will focus. For example, I'm tapping on that Kinovo speaker and it quickly actually focuses. Let me just bring close to an object. See it's not focusing now I'll just tap in. And as you can see the camera is in focus for objects that are far away uh, you don't have to tap in but again if you do tap you uh, the focusing is pretty fast so this should give you an idea about the video recording capabilities with this uh, desire 816 indoors in completely artificial light so what do I feel about the camera performance of this Desire 816? As we have seen from the sample shots, uh, I would say the rear facing camera is actually very good and uh, outdoors also it does a good job. But one thing as I mentioned earlier in the auto department, uh, I would say the exposure is all over the place. Sometimes uh, the exposure is not correct and in an auto mode, uh, the pictures uh, come out to be a little bit dark. Uh, but if you are a little bit patient, you can get very good shots with this device. And even uh, one place where I really like this device is in uh, indoors and in artificial light. In indoors and artificial light, I would say the camera did a very good job compared to some other cameras in this range. So even for indoor photography and in artificial light, the camera does a very good job. Now coming to the video, here I would say HTC could have done a slightly better job. I felt that the videos were not very sharp. They were good but not very sharp. And also it does not have any optical image stabilization. Hence the videos were a little bit shaky to my liking. But overall I would say in this price range, this HTC Desire 816 front facing camera as well as the rear facing camera are are very good and if you take a lot of pictures at this price point I would say certainly have a look at the HTC Desire 816 if camera is an important consideration. I'll also be doing a full in-depth review for this Desire 816 very soon. I've already made a couple of other videos for this Desire 816. Links for those videos will be in the YouTube show notes. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you found it helpful I'll appreciate if you can click the like button. Thank you for watching this video. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.